I don't even know what's happening. Shamrock River says the game in hand, so at worst case scenario, we're in fifth because of goal differential. Derry City, zero, zero, and six with a negative 11 goal differential. What is happening? Uh, all right, my friends, welcome back in. Um, I I don't know. Um, at this point last year, we were 0-3-3 three, and three with a whopping three points, and we're now 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. That's, that's an improvement. That's an improvement. Now, to be fair, we haven't... Well, I mean, okay, you saw the home form game. So we beat Sligo Rovers... Even with a man getting set off, it was a bit nervy. We definitely had to park the bus after this. I tried playing, continuing on counter because we were playing so well, and then, and then they scored, and I was like, "Oh no, panic, panic, run away, run away!" But Kalukas with a goal, Hulahan with a penalty in the 26th minute, Waters with a goal in the 36th minute, and then we kind of were like, "Okay, I guess we're good." Bohemians, we we've had some real rotten luck, to be honest with you. Hulahan with a professional foul. It was um, four three. And there was a man on the break. He had a second, or yeah, he was a second yellow. If he doesn't do that, we had kind of seized momentum back, right? We'd scored one in the 37th, one in the 65th. We were like making a charge to come back and equalize. And then we had a sending off. And then, of course, they they scored in the 89th minute because we were still pushing for it. Because it's like if you lose by two, that's no different than, well, I mean, goal differential at the end of the day. But it's no different really than losing by one. So we might as well try and, try and win. Um, this game. We played really well. Both of their goals, not one, both of their goals came off of one of our defensive players trying to make a, like, wind up, pause, take a huge swing back with your leg, kick, and it goes right into an opponent or a teammate right in front of them. Both times. One of them was at a Yinka, and the other one was uh, Gannon. So, Maguire has the own goal because after it clattered around... They took a shot or they were trying to cross it and he like tried to get out of the way and it hit him and deflected and went in. But it really was an unfair result. I mean, really was an unfair result. We should have won that game. But both of them, like, Eddie Inca was like, think, and it like, the guy's standing right in front of me. Like, if you could have taken a touch and dribbled around him or like pass back to the keeper or whatever. So we, we could even be higher than we currently are. Um, Medical Center is. Lots of high-risk injury. We're resting Vice Captain Jack. No, we're not. No. No, he can play today. He'll play today, and then we can rest him because he's the only one. I'm a little nervous about that because he's the only one with above-average injury susceptibility, but we, we do want to win this game. So I've rotated a little bit. As you can see, we're playing uh, UCD's Linsta Senior League side, but we're going to put McGuire in because Powell has played a 6.2 in league play not good so mcguire's coming in vice captain jack tierney douglas trying to keep our back line strong wiltshire coming in to be that kind of holding midfielder holahan o'reilly we're, we're trying to score some goals now if we go score three or four goals in the first half and we're smashing them we will definitely rotate because this is the thing with having a small smaller squad that i'm used to is right like to be fair we did have these friendlies but this is just trying to get our match sharpness up so in february four games in march five games and it's like four days three days four days four days break like it'd be nice if that break i mean i guess it could be there could be a cup game in here or something like that but you know space them out a little bit because the two weeks you might be after dairy city we might be you know, covered with injuries and then april is unbelievable it's just really compact and then june you get one game so we are going to end up, I think, relying a lot more on our youth, which is, ha, <laughs> ha, oh, great. It's fantastic. But today, because we would like to win this cup game, because we would like to get five or ten grand for getting to the final, we're also on, uh, if we win today, it's the most games in a row a team has won in the Leinster, Leinster Senior Cup ever, because we won it last year. So we've got a five-game win streak. If we win today... It'd be six, and we'd have a record. So we have put Quinn and Gannon on the bench. Uh, Kerrigan, who's only played one league game, is in because he played well in the cup the last time. Played well, as in he scored two goals. I, okay, so no, he hasn't even played in the league. 
but he's got a brace to his name in the first game on a 9.1 against a really small team. But, you know, we'll bring him. McGlade because he can cover the right or the left, and John O'Neill. Powell can sit on the bench and think about his life. Um, we're resting O'Neill, Fox, and Adayinka. So hopefully, hopefully this 4-2-3-1 pans out. That's kind of what I'm going for here, people. That's kind of the idea. I, I just... We we could really use the money. We could really use the money. Even if it's... Okay, let's actually take a look at that, right? Quarterfinal. Wh when, when are the games? If... And again, this may be cursing us. That's the draw. I don't want to know when the draw is. I want to know when the actual games are. May. Great. May. And then June 28th. So... If we make the next round, we got to put another game in into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games in in May. Oh Lord, have mercy! What are you doing, people? That's so ridiculous. None of that makes sense. None of the words I just said make sense. All right, lads, let's go smash. I don't even have my earbuds in. I've got something to do here in a couple minutes, so um, this is probably going to be including a pause. Just, just you won't. It won't impact your life, but yeah, I just said they're playing a 4-2-3-1 as well. This is kind of our bogey team. UCD and their Leinster Senior League side have kind of been our bogey team. I want to kind of just say, like, go smash faces. That's, yes, yes, motivated, good. I, so I'm just curious if we've played better because of the smaller squad size and the preseason. So, like, maybe they're getting more individual focus or maybe because there's not as many different options of who you could be playing with. They're working on their chemistry more. I like your thoughts. What, it, it, it's, it's been a bit surprising. Riley, oh, just wide. Uh, to say the least, the fact that we've got eight points when last season we had three, and we've got two wins. I can't believe we got two wins. And really should have had three, which if we were sitting here on ten points, I'd, I'd be like strutting around like, look at us, we're amazing. And, and instead we're going to lose to UCD's side two leagues below us. All right, come on, boys. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yes, extended highlights. Oh, that was lovely. I'm glad I, I got that off the screen in time. Gavin Holahan. Holahan? Holahan. It's probably like Hulahan, but there's not a double O. There's an L. Gavin. Gavin? We had two guys there could have, could have nicked that. Okay, that's one down. Three to go before we sub all of our starters off. Or, well, well by all, I mean three of them because, well, you know, rules uh, although it could be a weird cup where you get where you get four subs i don't think it is okay gavin collects it there he's got dalton in space look at all that my goodness take a touch take a dribble run away o'reilly chests it down oh penalty penalty ref we're gonna let gavin take it because he's got a nine on penalty taking uh we miss connor he's as you saw i think you saw that on the screen at the bottom when we went at the beginning part of the episode he's got seven weeks left with a torn hammy but then you go Oh, is he going to fit back in the squad? Because, you know, Waters and Klukas have had a, you know, a, a, a reuniting at the top of our 4-4-2, and they've played well. Excellent job there. Oh, okay, lads. Um, they, they, oh, Tierney. They knew. I told them. I said, hey, lads, we, we, three of you can come off. Vice Captain Jack is coming off for sure, and probably Klukas. That's what I'm thinking, boys and girls, and then maybe Douglas. Even though we don't really have anybody that can play right back. Tyranny can slide. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll be fine. But 2-0, mm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling as confident about that. I love that you're complacent. It just, it's, mm, just, it just gives you warm fuzzies when your players are like, oh, well. La -dee -da. They're trying to play with more discipline. I don't even know what that means. Like, I guess, just to, yeah. I know what it means, but how could you tell that? How could your assistant manager be like, they're playing with more discipline. Yeah, like, I don't know. Seems a little suspicious. He's doing the... Reading their minds. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Let's keep it up. If we can get one, we'll take Vice Captain Jack off with his high risk of injury. Wiltshire. Dalton. What's he got, lads? What's it? Chip? Chipperoo? Chip-chipperee? Jim-chimini? I don't know. 
Right, we've got some complacency setting into the squad. With only a, it's like 2 0 is one of the most dangerous leads in football, right? Like, oh, we got this. And then the momentum goes like this and swings the other way, and your opponent suddenly is up 3 2 or something like that. Make sure, and I just moved my monitor a little bit. Make sure there's nothing, there's no edge of green screen here. You know, hashtag professional. Um, oh no. Well, I guess Waters is coming off because he's got a tight groin. Um. Yes, you're an inside forward, and we're gonna take because I am nervous about injuries. Oh, the double subage in the 61st minute is is a bit of a. I'm gonna say concentrate. Did that go through? Yes, it did. I mean, it, I don't think it applied yet, but it will after this. Hoy Loit Douglas brings it down. Oh, lovely, lovely passing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, oh okay. Not. I mean, we gotta. We, they haven't had a shot on. They haven't had a single shot, people. Okay, I guess Klukas is gonna stay up. Sorry, mate. We could bring O'Neill on, but I'd rather take Douglas off. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slide Tierney over, and then Stephen Fitzgerald, who's our ball-winning midfielder, is gonna drop back. Surely we can hold on to a two-nil lead. Okay, that was a little. Anytime one of our players heads the ball and it doesn't immediately go away from goal, I get nervous because we have a, we tend to have a habit of, uh, you know, bad things happening on that so on that front. That's an interesting wishful ball forward. Okay, Gannon is there. I don't even know who he is. I just know he's a center back with like one and a half or one star potential or, or current ability, not potential. Oh gosh, that'd be terrible. Why did you sign him? Oh, because my head of youth. Thought he was the best thing since sliced bread, and then we, we signed him, and he was a half gray star. Something along those lines. Okay. Just one second. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, great. When you come right back and you get a you get a, a highlight. This is the type of game where it's like, unless this is a goal for us, I don't want any more highlights. Like, I would just like to be done with the highlights, because... And maybe I should drop to, like, a 4-4-1-1. Maybe that might be a smart thing to do. But again, wait, this is this is two leagues below us. We should be able to score. We had 16 shots. Only five on target. We've had 16 shots. You know, keep keep shooting. Keep them under pressure. Don't let them have any time on the ball. There you go, Klukas. Win that back. Get, um, shot? Cross? Shot? Uh, counts it as a shot, I guess. Came off his foot. Odd. You know. I guess. McGinnis. Right down the middle to one of their midfielders. That was excellent distribution. He knew we were gonna win this ball though. He was just set okay. He was just he was just setting us up to do amazing things. Oh Daz. That's Fitzgerald. He's not a center back. He can't blame. He's a ball winning midfielder. He doesn't even know how to pass. He just knows how to run into people. He's probably gonna give up a penalty. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the penalty. <laughs> smells like a penalty. No? No? Oh, oh Wiltshire destroys a man's legs. It's not called for a foul. Klukas is like, oh, okay. Everyone's looking at the ref like, you, you're not, oh, okay. What a save. Uh, although it looked like Wallace, okay. It looked like O'Reilly shot more, like, like, um, parallel to the goal line rather than at, like, the keeper's animation arm. That was weird. Like, shoot more towards the goal. Probably would have gone in. Okay, Wiltshire and Dalton trip over each other, but they, they win the ball back, so we're not. Got to complain too much, I guess. Everyone is disinterested on our squad. Everyone. That's amazing. Wiltshire to no one. I mean, he headed it away. Come on, lads. Oh, lots of, we let him run onto that. That's a poor shot. O'Reilly. Take your time, mate. Take your time, Houlihan, to the corner. McGlade getting forward. Oh, wait, no. That's our right winger playing inside forward. I forgot. Not as high of a percentage, you know, like the that I was telling you, like the 11 of 14 on, on target. 6 of 20 is 30%. It's not. And they've created a clerk of chance, and it's not been the dominating performance I would have liked. Although, to be fair, we are winning. We tried to play some rotational backup players. Gannon, as an example. We'll take it. We'll, we'll take the win. We've now set a record. Who, who doesn't like setting records? 
passionate. A very nice victory. Well done. 8.8 .8 for Gavin Holahan. Not bad. We took on Derry City, my friends. I'm not going to show you that game. We're just going to see. Okay. Who do we get? Who do we get? Okay. Any other? Okay. No. It's, it gets all discombobulated with teams playing different. Okay. They got to win. Great. So Shamrock Rovers could still jump us. All right. Let me, uh, let me, hold on. I forgot when the draw is already. That'd be useful. Be useful to know that. It's nice to see that we are title holders of anything, you know? 316. Oh, that's the day of the game. Uh, I, I'm going to hop us forward, but I'm anticipating we're not going to know because it's going to want to show the game, and I'm not showing that game. This is all about cups. I'm not going to show exclusively cups, but it's a lot about cups. Hold on just a second. Whew, thought I was going to play another game. Here we go. Semi-final draw. We got Dundalk, not them. Longford would be okay. UCD would be good for tickets, but we'd prefer, I think, Longford Town. Let's just take a look at where they are. They're currently second, and UCD's in first. So pick your poison, I guess. Last season, they finished in sixth, though, and UCD finished second. So probably Longford would be the, the dream. Let's see. And, and to be at home. Okay, it's of course. What is the deal? Oh, it's away from home. Look at that schedule. We got a brace of games with Galway United. It's it's a UCD sandwich with Galway United. Of course, it's UCD. Of course, it is. They stand between us and five grand. We will crush their souls, my friends. All right, if you've enjoyed this episode, take the like. We, we had 1,042 show up. I mean, that's okay, I guess. We, You know, 50% full. Would have been nice to pack it out like against St. Pat's Athletic, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. Not kind of way. All right, lads, hit the like button, and we'll see you at the top of the morning. That's not a real Irish phrase, apparently. <laughs>